what's going on everybody and welcome to the channel today we are taking a closer look at the diatone gt m5 sx now i have already uploaded a test flight video of this quadcopter so if you haven't checked out that video already i'll leave a link right up here and the description down below as well now so far i have had the pleasure of checking out a couple of other diatone products like this gtr 349 the three inch quark of the which i have just done a review on and it is just a fantastic of an fpv flyer with awesome power with a 3s and it is just a rocket with a 4s battery also i have had this diatone crusader gt2 the five millimeter a thick 200 millimeter unibody true x frame fpv racer for quite a while now and it is still an awesome quadcopter that is built like a tank and at the time of its release it was one of the best bind and fly models you could buy but today we are checking out the diatone gt m530 stretched x frame fpv racer or gt m5 xs for short it is a 230 millimeter 5 inch FPV racer and this thing comes with some 6 millimeter thick arms and although it is a top and bottom sandwich plate frame design with removable arm configuration the arms fully mirror the design of the 2 millimeter top carbon fiber sandwich plate so it almost acts as if it is a unibody frame with reinforced mid section for a super rigid frame design and it is one super rigid frame let me tell you and check out the smooth finish to the carbon fiber frame it is so smooth all around as if it is sanded down and polished or something like that and it is sandwiched down with an aluminum bottom sandwich plate now there are three screws uh, per each arm to take care of if you have to switch out one of the arms one is a dedicated screw and it screws in from the top into the bottom sandwich plate now the second screw serves to hold the aluminum cage and the top sandwich plate and the third screw is the stacks a standoff screw which is kind of unfortunate that we have to use this screw but it does provide additional support for a super rigid frame construction so the electronics and the fpv camera is very well protected by the almost five millimeter thick aluminum cage and it has got a couple of pillar standoffs as well as the vtx mounting hardware supporting it from the top now there's a couple of uh, cutouts on each side of the aluminum case so you can slide your velcro strap to mount your action camera and check it out all of the screws that are used throughout this quadcopter even the motor mounting screws are the machine cut anti-rust screws the only exception is the nylon screws that are used for the stack itself now there's also some pre-drilled holes on the top of the aluminum cage and uh, it is also threaded as well and i'm not sure but it could have been for a carbon fiber top plate that didn't quite make it to the final product now check out the bracket in the back for the vtx antenna it is a tilt adjustable swing bracket and loosening up a screw on the right side lets you swing and adjust the angle of the vtx antenna i've already loosened it a little bit so let me go ahead and show you that you can just tilt angle the vtx antenna instead of bending your vtx antenna and the sma connector seen from the bottom here has a double screw mounting bracket instead of the single screw which is the traditional type mounting screw which can twist the vtx coax cable while you are tightening it up so there you go there's that meticulous attention to detail and innovation that makes this product a diatone product so let's take a quick look at the gt crusader it also had a similar type of a bracket and it also had some stoppers on each side of the nut so it doesn't twist the vtx cable while tightening up the sma connector some two to three years ago but it wasn't a swing adjustable tilt angle type of a bracket so you have to bend the fpv antenna so here we witness one of the evolution 
of Dytone Innovations. All right, so let's take a look at the components. Uh, first, let's start off with the motors. These are the Dytone Innovation Edge Racing Motors, and they are the 2306, 2450 kV motors. They are made by Sunny Sky Motor Corporation, and we are given a set of these 5042 Wind Dancer Series tribulated props. Very nice performance all around with these semi-race freestyle props. The ESCs are the Mamba F40 4-in-1 3 to 6S Dijon 640 amp with 50 amp burst ESCs and it is coupled with the Mamba F405 flight controller with Betaflight OSD and it came preloaded with Betaflight 3.3.0 firmware with the Fury F4 OSD as the target and it also contains a 16 gigabyte flash memory for your black box data logging needs and you can buy the ESC and the flight controller as a combo. I'll leave a link down below in the video description. Now it also came with a receiver harness prepped already for an FR Sky RXSR receiver. So you can take advantage of telemetry and all that it has to offer like LUA script. So if you get this quadcopter, all you need is the RXSR receiver and just plug it in, bind it with your FR Sky transmitter and you are good to go. But I did not have one available, the RXSR receiver. So I am using an XM plus a receiver so i did have to remove the receiver wiring harness that was already soldered onto the flight controller and added my own wires to the flight controller and soldered in the xm plus receiver which i have just a double-sided sticky tape onto the vtx now this is the wiring harness that it came with already prepped this was already soldered onto the flight controller so this is the connector harness that you just plug into the RXSR receiver. So if you want to go that route, just get yourself an RXSR receiver and you will be good to go. All right, so the VTX is set to be the TBS Unify 800 milliwatt switchable VTX from 25, 200, 500 to 800 milliwatt and it supports TBS Smart Audio. So you can change the channels, the bands and the power output via the Betaflight OSD menu using your FPV goggles and your transmitter. Now, this VTX also has a buzzer built in. Uh, now this is the first time I have ever seen a buzzer built into the VTX. Now it also has a 25 volt capacitor built in as well. Now on the opposite side, uh, the antenna is connected to the transmitter via a UFL connector and you can see the connector from a little cutout on the metal protective cover on the other side. But I don't think you have enough room to maneuver a UFL connector in there and snap it in, in case somehow it gets dislodged. So you're probably gonna have to desolder this metal casing just to get in there to change out the UFL connector. Now we are also given this M-Way stick dipole antenna as well. You may wanna change this antenna out because this is not a very good antenna, but I will be doing all of my flying using this particular antenna to test it out so you can see what to expect right out of the box with this quadcopter. So that brings us to the FPV camera and it is the Runcam Micro Swift CCD camera with a 600 TV line and it has a 2.1 millimeter lens and a field of view of 165 degrees. So last but not least, we have another 25 volt capacitor. You can kind of see it right here, the silver capacitor. And this capacitor is soldered onto the board on a five volt and a ground pad. And we also have this huge Sanyo 1000 microfarad 35 volt capacitor directly soldered on to the main battery cable pads as well. All right, so this is the box that the quadcopter came in. Uh, it is the identical box that my 2016 Crusader GT2 came in. So they did an upgrade on the box. I guess it is doing just fine, just the way it is. So we get a bag of goodies and we are given an extra 
Velcro strap for your battery and a bunch of zip ties. And we do get some extra screws as well, two of each size. And they already have that blue Loctite painted on it. So very, very nice. And we do get an extra wiring harness for a receiver and also an extra wiring harness to connect your ESC to the flight controller. And we do get the pamphlet for the Mamba F405 flight controller with the pinouts. And on the other side, there's the Mamba F405 mini flight controller with the pinouts. And if you open it up, you also get the diagram of the F25 4-in-1 ESCs. And on the other side, we got the F40 4-in-1 ESC. So very nice little pamphlet. We also get a bunch of Dytone Innovation sticker. And this is the package that the Gem Fan Wind Dancer 5042 props came with. And that is everything that comes in the box with this quark up there so i'm going to go ahead and put my little rxsr receiver wiring harness in here and throw everything back in there all right so let's go ahead and see how much this thing weighs now this is ready to fly so this will be the takeoff weight minus the battery and it is coming in at 347 grams so that will conclude the review of the Dytone GT M5SX, the 230 millimeter five inch FPV racer with great frame construction, quality components, awesome power, even with just a 4S battery and just so much fun to fly. So coming up next is a free flight video of this awesome quadcopter with a 4S battery at the park. So thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Have a great day and we shall see you again next time.